fucking um like internet situation. Okay. <clears throat> Sound check. Sound check. Wonderful. Perfect. <laughs> Say hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Hello, Katana. Hello. I'm hey. fucking around in Fallout 4 again. <coughs> I'm fucking around. I found the crashed alien spaceship. Now I just gotta find out where the alien went. I'm fucking in a, I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm fucking around in a game I don't necessarily ever play as much as people would give me more credit for playing. I'm doing the test once more to see if my uh, hypothesis is correct, by the way, with the Xbox. Alright, so my internet itself, I'm getting 346 now um, download, and my upload is 20.42. Okay. Now I'm going to check the Xbox. Two twenty four for download on Xbox servers themselves. That's not that great. It's not bad, but it's not that great. I found the alien. Whoa. Nice. Okay, and... Ooh, jeez, dude, 17.4 upload? Oh, God, dude. There we go. They gotta check their fucking servers, like, legitimately. No, I'm not surprised. Especially by saying I'm not the story-driven guy. Uh, I wouldn't say you're not a story-driven guy. But I would also say that you probably don't like games that give you too, too much trouble. Oh, wow. Alien's blood just magically cleaned itself up. And I know that most of your games, you have to see what you're doing. And in that game, particularly, you don't get to see. Now I'm off to vault uh, something or another. I forgot the number of You might be surprised on what I'm playing, Eric. It's not a story-driven game. What is it? It's R6. In fact, there's not a story at all in this game. There is. Shut up, you. <laughs> there's not a story. Don't listen to him. I'm about to need to fight some barbarians. He thinks that there's a story because characters have a story. 
Man, you couldn't, you, you couldn't see the quotations there, but the characters have a story. It's a bio. But literally, those fucking file story whatever don't mean a damn thing. At the end of the day, and it's something I've already told him. You're going to be shooting people. Does it really fucking matter? No. It doesn't. No, she doesn't have any legendary stuff. My cat knows how to open up my door now. And sometimes it freaks me the fuck out because I don't know where my door will open. Dodge punch. What is that noise? Is there a Yaogwai somewhere around here? Oh yeah! Update, My there life. was a Yaogwai somewhere around here. Waited too long. Vault 81. Yep, okay. Time to explore. Back of the head. Oh, okay. I figured out why me and just one other guy, because there's only me and one other fucking guy in the game on my team. I figured out why in the fuck uh, we're not getting anywhere. Because it's just me. Do you want me to join you? I mean, you do you, Eric. I'll join you right now. We're in the middle of the game right now, but sure. Hold it right hey. there. Game is really hard to play. I'm be honest. I warned you. It feels weird. It feels weird playing blind. I got it in Vault One. Yeah, I'm not. I probably will play that later. But for now, no. I warned you. A game about being blind. Fun. Hey, damn. Trade, travel, I'm just yeah, a traveler. Travel. I'd take a look around. I think you actually might like the that? game. Oh. Overseer. Who is it, Edwards? Ma'am. Now, Katana actually might enjoy the game. But mostly because it's a story driven game. Officer Edwards here was just doing his job. I'm sure you can understand our need for caution. For newcomers, we like to operate on exchange. You help us, we help you. Details, give me details. I need more details. Fair enough. I will not. Not you. Go get no detail. Really? Well then, I suppose I should say welcome. I'll be down to meet you at the entrance. Cat, calm down. Top off. And stash it away. I'm trying to use characters I don't use, and I'm gonna be honest, some of these characters fucking blow. Everyone's working hard right now. 
Seriously, they do. Man, I didn't even know that one of them, uh, the one that I was using, had, was a sniper. I thought it was an MK4 or something. It was a sniper. Gwen McNamara, overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. Here, we pride ourselves on having maintained a successful vault over these past And I do not like snipers in this damn game. But there are certain resources we can't provide ourselves. Out of all the guns in this game, snipers fucking suck. I don't care what Eric says, they suck. So you do rely on the company. They're too fucking slow. Yeah, yes. Although Snipers are slow in real life, yes, but in a mistake. game like this is, they should not be that fucking slow. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improved. So I've heard. But it's still Not even snipers in fucking like Call of Duty are all that slow. If outsiders are willing mm -hmm. to help us, we're willing to help them. Speaking of, if you're ready. I can take those fusion cores from. I'm in a game with a guy named Yoda on ketamine. Here they are. Thank you, Dr. Penske. What? Really appreciate you. Yeah. Now, I have worked. An awesome man. Ketamine. What about his friend? Yeah, ketamine. I'll allow him. Security is already extra mindful as it is. If he's lived this long in the common. That's a fucking I'm epic sure name. His friends wisely. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. I got two words on what I expect out of you. Best behavior. You do not know the way, do you not? Okay, Edwards. Okay. I have ketamine. I don't know how Kermit, or not Kermit, uh, Yoda sounds. I don't know how Kermit sounds. He's way too simple. Mm, you don't know the force, do you? <laughs> <laughs> wow. No signs of radiation. Press it. That's right. Time. Excuse me. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Okay. If you want a good meal, huh? see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. Hey, you have fun spazzing out in the corner over there. Don't make me regret letting you in here. <clears throat> now that you made it in. We'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Why well, he's kind of cut and dry and bland. <clears throat> Katie Pinn is the teacher here in 81. You should stop by her class. She's big on learning from outsiders. The Commonwealth sounds so exciting. And dangerous. Damn you, teammate! Bye. So, Seriously? A new visitor today. Don't say anything, but man, I'd Why? love to be out there. Why are you it able to kill your teammates, man? To learn how to use a gun. I'm so and sick of that shit. Use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now I can't even say if our security has seen any. Especially if a fucking teammate gets right in your fucking days, face. I'm not it's even sure dumb. I'd find the time to practice. Why the long hours? We're just making sure this roof over our heads doesn't cave in on us. They say it's all the moving parts that have us working around the clock these days. Structurally, I no one in this fucking world sound. is going to tell me if that makes any sense. What were doing when they set these places up? Well, I don't want to keep you, and I got to get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. We got a barber. Neat. <clears throat> Another outsider. What they let you in for? Just taking a look around. Is the overseer just letting anyone in these days? I'm a fellow vault dweller. I don't care where you're from. It's not here. <laughs> wow. She's kind of rude. I'll be right back, dude. Okay. 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 Ah, there she is. <clears throat> hey, 
Hey, mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yeah, why? Yeah, why do you want to know? I never met anybody from the Commonwealth before. I thought maybe you might want someone to show you around. Just five caps. <laughs> okay, why not? Okay, give me the tour, Austin. Here's the caps. Yes! I gotta show you to Erin. She's gonna flip. Follow me. We'll start over here. Do those vault suits stretch out as they grow? This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot, so I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. What do they fight about? I shouldn't tell you this, but everyone says Mr. Combs is sleeping with Tina. Mrs. Combs doesn't know, but he's always leaving her to do all the work while he hangs out with Tina. Next stop, the Overseer. I bet he feels a lot of strange things. Ooh, and raiders. I bet he fought raiders too. Yep, plenty of raiders. And lots of strange things. Okay, you just have fun right there, Kate. Apparently she doesn't want to take the tour. The Overseer's office is up there. They're busy up there, and they do not like to be bothered. She makes rules, but she's nice. I like her. Does she take care of people that break the rules? Security mostly takes care of the people who break the rules, but she's in charge of all of the security officers. It doesn't happen very often. Next stop, the diner. Now we gotta go downstairs. That's where the diner is. Everybody eats there. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice, though. You'll like them. Suppose it would be Gums a lot more. As a stump. Immersive. To take off my helmet. That looks a bit better. Austin, I see you're showing our guests from the Commonwealth around. Yes, ma'am. This is the Sunshine Diner. Grant says that they'll take all of our hard work and turn it into swill. Mr. and Mrs. Somerset run the diner. They're pretty nice. Mrs. Somerset's pies are the best. How's their food? Other than the pies. I like it. Mrs. Somerset always sneaks me seconds. I'll save you a slice of pie, Austin. Next stop. Horatio. I told you they were nice. Do you like your hair? I like mine. I hate combing it, though. Grand makes me comb it. Hmm, Horatio. Austin, that hair of yours is a mole rat's nest. <laughs> this is where Horatio fixes up people's hair. Aaron's mom comes here all the time. Grand hardly comes here at all. She makes me cut my hair, though. It's not fair. <laughs> Would he do my hair? Sure. He can turn your hair into anything. I wanted him to make mine look like Skull, but Grand wouldn't let it. Next stop is Grand. Let's go see Grand. I live with her. She's not my real grandmother, though. My parents died when I was real little. Damn. Even in a vault, life is tough. Hi, Grand. Austin, what are you doing here? Are you bothering that stranger from the Commonwealth? I'm not bothering him. I'm helping him. Hmm. That's Grand. She takes care of me. You can call her Dr. Pensky. She acts a little grumpy. That's not for real. Says you. She runs our hydroponics lab. It's where we get all our food. You don't get anything from the Commonwealth? Nope. Grand grows it all here. She's really smart. <laughs> Next stop, Miss Kate. Come on, hurry up. You gotta go to the other side of the vault. I'll show you where I go to school. I bet you didn't have to go to school. 
Waiting on you, kiddo. This is the school. Miss Katie runs it. It's boring most of the time, but Grant says I have to go anyway. Your Gran is a smart woman, Austin. Are there a lot of kids in the vault? Not that many. The overseer says that we're using population control, whatever that is. Next stop is the medical clinic. Let's go downstairs. I'll show you the clinic. Doc Forsyth and Rachel are okay, I guess, but I don't go there unless I have to, or unless Grant makes me. This is our medical clinic. If you get hurt or sick, you come down here. Dr. Forsyth says I can't bother him or Rachel while they're working. Did you ever get sick? Just colds and stuff. Hardly anyone here gets sick. Mr. Somerset broke his foot once, though. They put a big cast on it, and he had to walk with crutches. Now we go see Erin. <laughs> She's going to be surprised when she sees you. Come on, this way. Erin and I spend a lot of time together. She didn't believe me when I said I would bring you to her. Kate, I don't think they have any scotch in there. I found the stranger from the Commonwealth. Wow, you're really from the Commonwealth. Yeah. Yes, I am. Whoa, someone from the Commonwealth. That's so cool. We haven't had a visitor in a while now. Thanks for doing my tour. I was so cool to show you off to everyone. Head now. Don't wait up for me. How can something this beautiful exist in such a fucked up world? Yeah, okay, Kate. That, me, I don't know what to say to that. Have you seen my cat? What happened? He scratched me. And I yelled at him to go away. I didn't mean forever, though. His name is Ashes. And he's the best cat in the whole world. Uh, I haven't seen a cat. Maybe he left the vault. I think he's left the vault. I saw him run by me when I got here. Left the vault? Oh, please bring him back. Please. No one else would set foot outside for him. Where do you think he may have gone? Not far. He'd be terrified. I'm sure if there's anywhere nearby to hide, you'll find him. Come back. Welcome back. Thanks, I'll find him for you. Thank you. Oh, He's the sweetest little gray cat. I just want him to come home. Time to go cat hunting. Get your coat, Kate. We're leaving. Cat hunting? Yep. Before I get going. And put my helmet back on and remove my custom marker. Okay, let's see here. Oh shit. I don't have to shit right now, thank you. Not you, goofy. <laughs>
Okay. I'm going to have to break this up into multiple Vault 81 videos. Well, that didn't work. Tree spazzing out. Mom. What? That tree was spazzing out. Why'd you yell for your mom? I don't know. What the hell is she gonna it do? Sounded about? like the right thing to do. <laughs> oh, it's another gunner. Here, you can have it all in the face. There you go. Where'd the bits and pieces go? Ooh, more fight to be had over here. Just let me distract myself with it for a minute. There we are. I didn't say you could irradiate me, asshole. Fucking children of Adam. Well, that did not work. trying to build a battery pack pretty much huh hello kitty Ashes, go home. Aaron, Cat, what are you, you doing? Now I'm gonna follow the cat. I mean, you could have taken the road. You didn't have to go through the bushes. Okay. Home. Yay. Either the these uh light strips that I have don't work or the way I've got that battery pack that I created doesn't work. It's one of the two. Or both. Well, time for a control study. Exactly what I'm doing. Right, someone. Right, there goes Ashes. Yep. Someone wanted my attention. Hey. If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. Sure. It was someone closer to the door. Excuse me. Officer. I have a Stay LED light strip. Hi. I found it. Um. I wanted to see if it worked, so I made a a battery pack for it. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> so.
so far, it's not worked. So, like I said, either it's what I had said or it's something else. Saying that I am pretty damn good with electronics. I'll figure it out in a moment. What I'll do is, is I'll hook it into an ele electrical port on the wall. And if 240 some odd volts doesn't light these up, then they just don't work. I know what you're thinking. You're insane. Yes, I am. But I'm insane with a plan. <laughs> okay. How many adventures have you I'll have to get the rest of this done later. Well, they do not work. <laughs> Test is conclusive. The light strips just do not work. But does your battery pack work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just stuck my tongue to it. That's not a very good test. It is. It shocked me on my tongue. Oh my gosh. That's exactly how you do it. That's when you don't have tools and, and other stuff to test it on. I don't have a voltage on. meter. What do you mean? <laughs> even I have a voltage meter. That's you. Okay, I'm not paying and money. And I don't for even that use it thing. for anything. Yeah, give it to me, Mr. Got a fucking voltage meter. Uh, first, I gotta find it, and second, I gotta learn how to teleport to you. Third. Third, there is no third. <coughs> the point is, I don't have a voltage meter. You okay. need to start watching Electronic Boom. He'll teach you. You don't need a voltage meter. Listen, I learned at a very long, long, a long, <laughs> young age that you can lick <laughs> things to determine if they have an electrical charge. <laughs> yes, you it's can. It's not fun, and it's not practical. It's absolutely practical. I just learned that it has an electronic charge. Uh... See? The practicality is. Say good night, Tracy. Tracy, goodbye. Close enough. Till next time, everybody.